The use of mercury is prevalent in small-scale and illegal gold mining operations across the world. This substance is used to separate the gold from other materials. The Minamata Convention on Mercury uh, aims to protect human health and environment from the harmful effects of uh, mercury. According to the World Health Organization, mercury is hazardous as its vapor damages the nervous, digestive, and immune systems, the lungs, and kidneys. In high doses or prolonged use, it can result in death. As such, the government of Guyana is working to eradicate the use of mercury. The Ministry of Natural Resources, in partnership with the Basel Convention Regional Center and the United Nations Environment Program, conducted on Tuesday a national inception workshop and training for the development of national action plan for the artisanal and small-scale gold mining. We wish to reiterate that the project is very important for this country and we hope that the outcomes will be well received and result in a change in the mining practices. This is, the successful completion of this project will maintain our vision at the center, which is protecting human health and the environment in the Caribbean through the environmentally sound management of waste and chemicals and of course ultimately the protection of the natural and human resources of Guyana. The two days workshop which is being held at the Hermanson Lodge will focus on the training in the mining sector on various aspects of safer mining practices. Natural Resources Minister Raphael Trotman spoke of his government's commitment in fostering safer communities along with the safe health practices. Six years ago on October 10, 2013 in Kumamoto, Japan, Diana joined with the rest of the world by signing on to what is known as the Minimato Convention. It was our pledge with others to control and address the use of mercury and we committed to protect the environment and human health for both current and future generations, not just the Guyanese, but for people all over the world. The BCRC's focus is on training and technology transfer regarding the management of hazardous and other wastes as well as the minimization of their generation. These autonomous institutions operate under the authority of the Conference of the Parties, the decision-making organ of the Convention composed of all the countries' party to the Convention. For Channel 2 Headline News, Thank Esther Sobers.